How's it going, everybody? Yesterday, I did a video on my Scooby-Doo DVD Blu-ray collection. Hope you liked that video. If you haven't watched it, watch it. This video is going to show you my video games. I don't got a big collection of video games like I do in my, you know, my collection of DVD and Blu-rays. But I got a little shrine of video games here. Yeah, it's like sweet. Let's start off with a... <clears throat> By the way, this is Craig Bush Rocks. Hope you liked this video. Let's start off with a... Game Boy Advance game. Oh, yeah. The Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Pretty sweet. I have not played this version of it yet. I should play it just to check it out. Hope it ain't a dumpster fire. But <laughs> I bought this in a bag full of uh, games, and I kept. I pulled some of them, and I don't kept them. This is one of them. Okay, the next one. I forgot what I bought this at. I was at a convention. But a Scooby-Doo, class, uh, the classic Creep Capers for the Nintendo 64. I made an offer for it, and the guy took it, so awesome. Put a nice little label on the top of it. This one I haven't played yet. Awesome. Next, we got a PlayStation 1 game. Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase, and I think I played some of this a little bit. Yeah, based on that movie right there. One of my favorite movies. <laughs> yeah, pretty sweet. And where did I get this? Insiders Club, uh, $4.99. Insiders Club, uh, I forgot. I had to ask Rob, he would know. <laughs> All right, um, next one I got was a Super NES game, a Scooby Doo Mystery. It's complete in the box. Box seen better days. Cool. Let's see. Yep, there's the manual. There's the game. Awesome. Uh, put them off to the side there. Uh, I got a GameCube game. This one. I didn't realize I did not play, which I am going to play this one probably pretty soon here. And that's Scooby-Doo Unmasked. And I'm going to clean all the stickers off again. I realized I didn't have it for the PlayStation 2. So, yeah, the GameCube version of Scooby-Doo Unmasked. I am definitely going to play it. I like the GameCube games. I like <laughs> nice cases and everything. I mean, sweet. Got a little slot for the memory cards. <laughs> all right. Unmasked. Now for the PlayStation 2 games. I got Scooby-Doo, Night of 100 Frights. Played it and beat it. <laughs> so is my daughter. Really cool game. Played the shit out of it. Excuse my language. Then we got Scooby-Doo, Mystery Mayhem. Played the crap out of this one. Ah! No instruction manual. Guess I'm going to have to look for a one with instruction manual with it. Cool. This one was a fun one. Scooby doing the spooky swamp. I like that one. This was a fun game. Yep, complete. <laughs> yeah, my stack of games here is piling up. Then we got Scooby Doo First Frights. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. This one's complete. All right, those are my Scooby Doo games right there. Let me see. Uh, stack it up, it's gonna be piled up high and hide behind it. But yeah, pretty sweet. And like I said, not a huge collection of games. If I ever see Scooby Doo games out in the wild, of course, I'm gonna pick them up, just never see them all the time. Other than that, this is Craig Bush Rocks. You can give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. Hit the bell icon to be notified of my videos. And I'll check you on the next video. See ya.